Okay, well, thank you so very much. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great, and it's going to be a, a wonderful opportunity to share with lots of our viewers. Thanks. All right, we'll see you Friday. Bye-bye. Wow. Uh, we have a humongous announcement to share with you today, and I'm very, very excited and blown away. Um, you know, over the course of the last 25 years that the Evangelical Mormon Dialogue has been slowly moving forward, it's been like a massive bridge over a humongous divide. Um, it's a divide that is difficult and muddy and full of water and difficult situation to build a bridge over. And there are times when it just feels like the whole project is not worth it. It's too costly. It's too challenging. It's, uh, there's too much opposition. There's all kinds of things that come up when people have to build a bridge over a difficult uh, piece of land or section of the earth. And, and, uh, and the Evangelical Mormon Dialogue Bridge has been a lot like that. Believe me, there have been times when I felt, this is, this is not going to work. This is too difficult. Uh, we should just give up. But along the way, we have seen those places where God has shown up and done some pretty exciting things to give us enough encouragement to keep building the bridge. Uh, believe me, having Rabbi Zacharias speak at the Mormon Tabernacle in 2004 and 2014, those were pretty big deals. When Nick Vujicic spoke there in 2009, uh, that was a big deal. And those moments, in addition to many others, are the kinds of things that help us be confident that God is truly doing something and a bridge is really being built. And then today, as I share with you what I'm about to share with you, I feel that same sense of encouragement that God is up to something. And that's why I know this is not about me. Um, you know, when I think about all the things that have happened in the 28 years of ministry that I've been here in Utah, almost nine years as a local church pastor, and the last 20 years we're standing together, I see the hand of God leading us, guiding us, moving us forward. I came here as a young pastor hoping somehow we could change the, the dynamic, change the relationship, move away from such forms of communication as confrontation and just strict apologetics and, and uh, uh, kind of bombastic fighting amongst each other. It seemed to be that's the way Mormons and evangelicals interacted. But over the last 28 years, we've seen God change that and there's more friendship, there's more interaction. That's because we've built this bridge. We've built this bridge of trust and this bridge of communication. And to, to think that we have seen God faithfully bring along uh, individuals and opportunities that really change the dynamic of, of the Mormon evangelical interaction is amazing to me. Again, this ministry and in this office is not large enough, uh, even with the help of all of our wonderful pastoral partners and local churches, we're not big enough to see what we have seen God do. No, this is God's stuff. This is God's hand. And even when I get discouraged, I look back on his faithfulness and say, God, are you finished? I don't think you're finished yet because you've done so many amazing things. And it's time for us to, to see and hear from God again. And that's what I'm so excited about because we have something to share with you about what God is about to do next. So here's the big announcement. Next Friday, on September 11th, the Building Bridges with Greg Johnson podcast will air a conversation between myself and Elder Jeffrey R. Holland of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and Dr. George Wood, the former General Superintendent of the Assemblies of God. These two giant leaders in their respective communities are going to talk about their friendship and how they met and how they have built on that friendship and, and why that's important and what's the significance of a senior Mormon leader and a senior evangelical leader even building a friendship? Why is this even happening? And what is the way forward and what are the opportunities ahead? We're gonna discuss all these things. This, this spotlight, this moment in time is gonna give us all an opportunity to hear from that leadership about what the future looks like. And I think God's gonna do some amazing things through the conversation. I want you to know about this. Normally, we uh, lay our podcast out on a first Friday of the month. We're delaying it by one week to accommodate their schedules. So that's why we're announcing it today so that next week you'll be looking for it on Friday, September 11th, right after 10 o'clock. And you'll tell all your friends and we'll have thousands and maybe tens of thousands of people checking this video out checking this podcast out and uh, getting an opportunity to hear directly from these two leaders. I'm so excited.